Now start with the reinstallation. Spray sealant remover on the residue of the cylinder head. Let the spray react for 5 to 10 minutes. Then remove the residue with a plastic wedge. Do the same on the front cover and the cylinder head cover. Before reinstalling, check if the camshaft on the other side has shifted. To do this, remove the camshaft hall sensor. Renew the hall sensor seal. Together with your colleague, turn the engine crankshaft in the direction of engine rotation to 55 degrees before the TDC. This corresponds to the 305 degree mark on the belt pulley. This must line up with the marker assistance on the timing cover. In addition, check for the marks on the pulse wheels. They must appear centered in the holes. Now install the camshaft again. Tighten the screws with 8 Newton meters. The camshaft adjuster is next. Put it into the basic position. Pay attention to the marks again. Insert the new oiled pulse wheel. Then put the tensioning rail back. Apply some sealing compound to the thread side of the clamping bolt and mount it again with the impact extractor. You need the sealing compound and the gun for the cylinder head cover and the front lid. Now install the chain adjuster and tighten it with 70 Newton meters. Then install the exhaust camshaft. Apply the sealant along the contact surfaces of the cover. Pay attention to the correct sealant path as described in this. The rest of the installation is done in the reverse order. Finally, verify the position of the camshaft. Are the markings on the pulse wheel visible in the holes? And does it line up with the 305 degree marking? Then everything is correct. After you've done a short test in star diagnosis and erased the error memory, the vehicle is ready for use.